Hey crafty family, it's me. And today we are going to finish up something we started in the live stream last night. So um, in the live stream last night, we were doing more string painting, but with acrylic paint, which came out really cool looking. And how I was doing it was I would take the piece of string, I would lay it down, and from about here down, the last like six, uh, how many inches is this? Oh, about 10 inches, eight to 10 inches, I guess it was, because I probably used about, yeah, about that much. I would do like, you know, I would paint, I would put three blobs of acrylic paint, and then I would paint like from here down one color, from here to there another color, and from here to there another color, all the colors corresponding with each other so they would blend together in case they do run into each other, which as you could see, they would go from like green to like a yellow green to blue and purple to teal to pink and like so all the colors kind of yeah you could see how cool they look um so that was fun and then what we started to do was this canvas which i finished um i put a uh, tape border around it so that it would not get the paint on this part and then i took the tape off and I went around and marked where the border was and I hand painted that. I think I did a pretty dang good job. I did not tape it off. I actually hand painted that and was, I have a pretty steady hand when it comes to painting. I can't paint worth a damn. Don't ask me to paint anything specific, but if you, if you need me to paint a straight line, I'm pretty good at it. I don't know why, very weird. But yeah, so I painted that all the way around and in this purple, the purple, what I call the fairy paint, but it's actually the starlights. Um, I got these, they're from Imagine Crafts, I got these from Janet, um, love those paints, but yeah, so that came out really cool, it's like a metallic sparkle, and then I've got all the little, what I call fairy flowers, they kind of look like fairy flowers when you pull the string and you get these little loopy flower looking things, so what I decided to do was go through my die cuts, and I got some die cuts in a Happy Mail, and this is one of my favorites. I love this. I'll have to get the die for this because it is badass. And I want to put it right here like that. And then I want to take this little fairy, which is adorable. And I want to put her right here. And it looks like she's like blowing a kiss. Have her blow with a kiss and have it be like sparkle dots that I'm going to make going up to that fairy. So... Yeah, I thought that would be cute. But what I'm gonna do first to make these stand out a lot better is I'm going to um, emboss them with some sparkly black embossing uh, powder, which I've got here. And so in order to do that, we're going to use the Vesamike, Vesamike, Versamark. Um, and yeah. We're gonna start with that so you guys can hang out with me while we finish that up because I know that, you know, I had to help, which way am I doing it that way, okay. I had to help out a friend last night or be there for her um, because she was going through some things. So I had to end the stream a little earlier than I wanted to, but that's okay. You know, things happen and you know, my friends are more important to me. Um, don't take offense to that, but you know, when you have a good friend, you gotta be there for them, and that's just the way life goes. And I am okay with that, and I hope you guys are too. Anyway, let us emboss our fairy. We'll do one at a time. Let's see if I can pick her up, because she's so small. Ah. Get over here, fairy. Stop running away. Running away from your problems is no way to fix them. All right, let me get a brush and clean the back of her off because I don't want her to not stick down because she's got bulky embossing powder on the back. She only needs it on the one side. Okay, okay. Okay. Alright. Now we got that mess straightened out. 
Let's get something to possibly hold her down with while we, and we'll close this up because you know I'll knock it over. <laughs> Let me heat this up and then we're going to emboss it. Okay. Very pretty. Very pretty, very pretty, I hope you could see. Very pretty and sparkly. All right, let's do this one. I'm going to do the same thing, make sure it's the right side up. Maybe I should tap it in with this instead of getting the embossing powder all over my hands or embossing ink. Wiping off the end of the paintbrush every now and again to avoid getting a whole ton of the uh, ink on the back of the thing that I have to then brush off later. This is really hard because it's so delicate. It's hard to hold it and <laughs> get the stuff on there. Ugh. Goodness. This is one of those aggravation testers. Let me make sure it's all shiny. Nope, not right there. Nope, not on the head. Okay. Checking, checking, checking. hold it a certain way you can see in the light if it's got the embossing powder on it in all the places that you need it all right where'd my paper go luckily embossing ink doesn't dry super fast so you've got plenty of time you know to to mess with it and even if you miss a spot, you can always go back and add more embossing powder or embossing ink and then redo it. So you can't really screw it up. It's kind of impossible, actually. Virtually impossible. All right. I'm not even going to bother trying to tap off any excess on that because it's so intricate and delicate that that would just prove to be a waste of time. So we're just going to let the excess fly all over the place. Why not? All right, let's see. I'm just going to hold it there and wish for the best. One thing that's nice about this embossing powder, I don't know where it's from, but it melts fast. It's like, woo, it's mighty fast, which I like. I don't know who it's from or where it's from. I got it. Who the hell knows from where or when? I never know half the stuff where I get it from. Most of the time it's from creative reuse or somebody sent it to me or something. But I like it. Alright, let's clean up some of the mess I've made. These tweezers got gunk on them. Anyway, now's not the time. Okay, so now I think this is going to look adorkable on here. Of course, I'll have to glue it down because now it looks more sparkly and fairy like, and I think that will look really cute on there, don't you think? Don't you think? I think. So now we will work on gluing with some aliens I'm 
try not to make too much of a mess. But I need to make sure to get all the glue. In all the places. Oh. I kind of like her butt hanging off the frame. Okay. Is this flat? Yeah, that's flat. Let's try to hold that on there. Mm. Cute, cute, cute. Cute, 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 cute. And then we've got this little doohickey, which is going to be a pain to glue. But we're going to give it a try and see how far we can get before I get frustrated. So if you have tried the string painting technique, let me know in the comments below what your favorite kind of paint was to use, whether it was acrylic or watercolor or something else, food coloring, what did you use to do your string painting? It's something I would love to know. And if you did it, if you could also um, post pictures in the Pink Poodle Pack Creative Playground. I would love to see the pictures of your um, creations and what you did with yours. Did you make them into cards or ATCs or what did you do with them? Now here I'm just taking the uh, baby wipe and gently wiping any glue that might have gotten on the front because it's acrylic paint so that's not going to smear and and the thing is embossed so can't smear anything on that so that looks good looks good now the only thing left to do is add some sparkle and then maybe add like a quote or something which hmm, I have to think about the low. I bent it. Don't do that. What are you crazy? Careful. It's still wet. Okay. So for the sparkle, I guess I should figure out a quote first. Let's see what I got. I got my little pile of quotes here. Mm. Oh, I like this don't forget to fly, but it's a little small. Maybe I can do it in letters. Or I could put it here. This way it doesn't cover up any more of the painting. <gasps> That's a good idea. Good thinking. I like this. Keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable and it's a good size. <gasps> I think we found a winner winner chicken dinner. That's a good one. Good one. That was easy. 
And that's a good place for it too. I like that right there. We're just gonna trim it a little bit because there's a couple of little lines on there. If I could find my scissors, there they are. That would be nice. glasses because you know I can't see and you know I was looking for my glasses earlier and I have three pairs of glasses in this room and all the ones I found were these like what the heck man three pairs of glasses get lost in one room it's not like my room is a total disaster I mean it can get messy but I shouldn't be losing my glasses all right come on Stop getting stuck to my scissors so that I can cut. Okay. some glue Ugh. there's me nuts at the edge of the bottle I get this dry crappy stuff that accumulates and when I go to glue it it lands on my glue I don't want it to do that dry I'll go around that with the Stabilo in black very cute and then we'll put some sparkle dots let's see we'll put them in a bright color so that they show up like maybe the pink or hmm, wait a minute maybe the purple to match the outline yeah, see, because that matches that really well. We'll do purple. And we're going to put little sparkles, little sparkle dots. if she's blowing a kiss of sparkle up to this fairy up here who's in the lantern how cute is that so cute so cute my goodness all right yeah that's really cute I love it. I love it. I love it. Did I tell you I love it? So cute. Maybe we'll put some little gems on the outside. I think that would be a cute thing to do. Either gems or water droplets. Let's see which ones we like better. I've got the little water droplets. And I can mm, maybe gems. 
Borealis ones on here. Maybe that size, not that size. Let's see if I can find two of the same. There we go. Is one bigger? So that's the problem with these. There's so many different sizes, and some of them are like just a hair bigger. And then some of them are very different cuts. Like that one's different than that one. Let's see. Let me try to find one. That's the same cut, but it's not an Aurora Borealis. Goodness. Pain in the arse. Well, let's switch this out then because I've got two of these. And then what we can do is take some of the little ones. And I drop them all over the floor. That's all right. Okay, for this, I'll use glossy accents. easier. These little gems are a pain in the ass. Just saying. They're neat. I love them, but they're still a pain in the ass. You can love something and still consider it a pain in the ass. That's just how it goes.
Come on. Come on. Get off my finger. Look at it so I can make sure they're even. knocking things over. <laughs> All right, how cute is that? Isn't that cute? That's just so cute. Maybe I'll put glossy accents on this. Little keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. But first, we're going to get my trusty poor pencil that is getting really freaking short. And we're going to go around this my little short pencil. Dipping my hand in the okie doke. Anyway, I'm just gonna go around this a little bit more, and I'm probably not gonna wet it like I normally do. I'm just gonna leave it just dark, like so. And yeah, that's it. I think it looks awesome. I love it. It's so cute. Um, yeah. Yeah. I might just take some glossy accents and put it there. Um, but otherwise, it's finished. So let me know in the comments. What do you think? Isn't that cute? Um, I hope you like this. And I hope you will give string painting a try. Because it is a lot of fun. And is very easy to do. And it's awesome. Um, yeah. Yeah. So please give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it and share it if you wouldn't mind. Also subscribe if you're not subscribed and check out links in my description because I have a link to my group, the Pink Poodle Pack Creative Playground on Facebook. I also have a link to my Patreon if you're interested in supporting my channel and uh, becoming one of my poodle patrons. And if you're one of my poodle patrons, um, you get access to a secret Facebook group, which we are about to do a little swap since there's only about 12 of us, 10 of us, 10 of us? 12 of us? I can't remember. Um, but there's only a, a small amount of us, so we're going to do some swapping. Uh, starting, like, literally within the next week, we're going to do a fun flipbook swap um, with a tag in it, which will be a lot of fun. And in order to be in that group, you have to be one of my patrons. So the link is in the description below. I'm also going to have live classes every month, and these are things that I'm doing to thank those who are patrons um, and supporting my channel, which I really appreciate. So the links for that are in the description below. And also, um, I can't remember. I was going to say something else. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, either way, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And make sure you do what you love and love what you do. And be nice to people. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.